In this tutorial, we are going to prove that the sum of two odd numbers is always even. So this is very simple thing, right? We already know that if we add any two odd numbers, we always get an even number, right? But we have to prove it. So it should be a generic proof. So how will we prove it? So for that, let's understand a couple of things first and then we will prove it. It's hardly a four to five lines proof. So it's not a very complicated thing, but we need to go through a couple of very simple concepts. So the first one is we know that every even number can be written in the form of 2n and every odd number can be written in the form of 2n plus 1. How? See, if I have an odd number 1, it can be written as 2 into 0 plus 1. 3 can be written as 2 into 1 plus 1. We know this is very trivial and similarly an even number can be written as 2 into 1, 2 into 2, 2 into 3, 2 into 4. So here we have 2n plus 1. So this is n, right? Means an integer. So this is an integer. So 2 into n plus 1. So any number which is of this form where n is an integer, that number is always an odd number. And if we have a number which is of the form 2 into n, where n is an integer, then that number is always an even number, right? So what we have to prove now is that if we add two such numbers, if we add two such numbers, we get a number which is of the form 2 into n. So that's what we have to prove. So let's start the proof. So let's now prove it. We have to add two odd numbers. So let's take two odd numbers. So let A and B be the two odd numbers. Okay. So these are any two odd numbers. So if A and B are two odd numbers, then definitely we can write A as 2n plus 1 because A will be of this form. We just talked about it. Similarly, B can also be written as 2m plus 1. Why n over here and m over here? Because A and B can be two different odd numbers. For example, 3 can be written as 2 into 1 plus 1 and 5 can be written as 2 into 2 plus 1. So here the value is different, here the value is different. So that's why we can write a as 2n plus 1 and b as 2m plus 1 because these two numbers can be two different odd numbers. Okay. But the important thing is that you have to write over here that both n and m, these are integers. Okay. So z, so this symbol represents the set of all integers. Okay. Now we have to add these two numbers. So now we can write that a plus b will be equal to so we have to add this and this, right? Because this is A, this is B. So that means 2N plus 1 plus 2M plus 1. And this should be equal to 2N plus 1 plus 2M plus 1, which is equal to 2N plus 2M plus 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, we can take two common and this will be equal to n plus m plus 1, right? Now, this is again of the form 2 into an integer. So, I can write it as this is 2 into r, where r is n plus m plus 1. Now, n is integer, m is integer, 1 is integer. So, there sum is also an integer. So this means this number r, this means r also belongs to the set of integers, right? So now their sum, their sum is of the form 2 into an integer. So 2 into an integer, 2 into an integer means this is an even number. So hence we can conclude that the sum of any two odd numbers is always even, right? So that's it from this tutorial. Keep watching Math Mafia.